Hello world, this is I am Portia and we are right here in Orlando, Florida for the AALC 2018 convention which is African American Leadership Council and the theme this year was Millionaire's Mindset. So this is a gathering where so many people, thousands of people come together to empower each other and to help each other become more successful in their financial world. I cannot wait for you guys to hear the people that I spoke to today, the words of encouragement they have for you all and how they keep going during hard times stay tuned to stand into my right is Tristan Bush the beautiful and the lovely Tristan Bush thank you so much for accepting this offer to speak to my world I am Portia now Miss Tristan is a, has masters in adult education and currently she is making 250k and guess what miss tristan used to be in hospitality and is a woman of god and there's so much to know and love about this beautiful woman here but i'll let her speak to you guys a little bit more about herself okay well again i'm uh, tristan bush born and raised in los angeles california uh south central to be exact roses do grow from concrete um, I moved all the way to Baton Rouge, Louisiana to go to college, so I have a bachelor's degree in business, and I have a master's degree in adult education. Uh, bachelor's is from Southern University, master's degree is from LSU, you know, but I did all those things because I was doing what society told me. I really thought that you got a degree that automatically meant you're going to make some money. That's a lot. So I had incurred all this debt. So what I did was, how I got in the finance industry was, I read this um, book by Susie Orman called Young, Fabulous, and Broke. Check, 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 right? And it talked about, it broke things down, you know, how to, if you want to buy a house, if you want to buy a car. And I just always felt like if everybody knew more about the basics, we'd be much better off. So that's what kind of started my passion into the financial industry. Now, Ms. Tristan, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. How do you stay focused in a toxic environment, in a toxic world? Mm -hmm. You know, that is a really good question because I really do believe that the world is toxic and it's only getting worse. And I have to go out of my way. Sometimes I have to, you know, like social media. Social media is a good thing, but it can also be a curse, right? So I, I've had to, like, filter certain people. You know, if I, people are posting things that I don't like. I just, I, I, I won't be your friend anymore, right? But I'm really, really big on that and just being in a positive shell and making sure, you know, even I'm real bad. Sometimes I'll be sitting in the car and a song will come on and I'll be like, I can't even I, I, nope. I'll turn it off, you know, because what we don't realize is our subconscious mind is so powerful. And when we're saying things, even if it's in a song, music is powerful, but your subconscious mind doesn't know if that's good or bad, you know, so it's very, very important. So just not having certain conversations, being around people that are, all they want to do is gossip, they want to talk bad about people. I just don't want to be around that type of energy. So I don't, I'm not rude about it. I'll just slide, slowly slide out the, mm -hmm. I don't want to do it. I believe in karma. I really do. I believe if you talk about people, people talk about you. You know, if you lie, people lie to you. And so I'm always conscious of what I'm giving out to make sure that's what I want to get back. Vacation requires separation. See, what's happening is we're still hanging out with the same folks. We still have the same conversations. We still, you want to be normal. You still don't want your family and your friends to say, well, what are you doing? Oh, you working too hard. Oh, you're always gone. You still care that your mom is calling you wondering why on Easter Sunday you got appointments. But, but mom, because my sister got appointments, but oh, it's different because she has a job. I said, see, that's the problem. 2018, we're here at the AALC, which is the African American Leadership Council. This year's theme was actually Millionaire's Mindset. Now, you were part of the morning session, the women's locker room, and you guys, you were part of the panel, as you guys spoke a lot about empowering women, empowering each other. Now, what is the essence of that as an African American, as a woman, empowering one another or another woman? Absolutely. Well, that's very, very important. I'm really passionate about, you know, not only African American women, but women as a whole. Because I believe that women have, we have so much, we're like octopuses, you know. We have so much that we juggle with all the time. And it's a lot of pressure. So one thing that I'm very big on is making sure women have self-care. Take care of yourself. You know me, what I like to do, I go to the spa, back. Yes, girl. Once a month. I don't care. I'm my husband, where you at? I'm, 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 I'm taking care of me. You know, because we have to get our minds right. Because there's just so much that we have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. But also, you know, I read this book by Joyce Meyer called The Confident Woman. 
and, and she just talked about embracing who you are, and I think that's very important because all of us have so much to offer, and unfortunately, women compete. We compare with one another, you know. But what I found is, if you give off that positive energy, and you know, I'm really big on complimenting a woman. Girl, that girl, your shoes are cute. Girl, you, because I understand that as women, we don't do that a lot. But it really starts there, just knowing who you are, and then also being able to show some love to somebody else when you recognize that another woman is doing a great job. Absolutely, positive affirmation. Yes. Yes. Now, any nuggets for our viewers out there, the world out there? Any nuggets at all for them? You know what I would say is that no matter what field you're in, no matter what you're doing, what your goals and dreams are, you have to self-improve. You know, you're not going to get wherever you want to get by just college or, you know, things in the classroom. That doesn't work. Whatever your craft is, master it, become it, you know, study on it, read about it. Be remember that success is when preparation and opportunity meet, and it will come to you. Hard work is sexy. You know, you, d you pour into yourself, and the world will pour back into you. Absolutely. Where can people find you? Well, oh, 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 that's when you, oh, 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 yeah, girl. Right. My Instagram is underscore sistergirl33, S-I-S-T-A-H, 33, because everybody says I'm their favorite sister girl. But anyway. Girl, guys, make sure you remember this. Rewind and listen to that again. Sister girl, 33. Uh -huh. That's, it. That's well, it. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Mwah.